<laughs> are we live? I'm trying to find that we are. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> god don't choke on your apple! I wasn't choking. <laughs> it sounded like you were. And put it on live chat so that all my messages are visible. Right, here we go then. Hello, good evening everyone, and welcome here to this ARC Cleo Cup Coffee Break Funsies at Goodwood. <laughs> I'm Savvy, and joining me uh, in the booth yet again is uh, Mr. Rascal. So how are you, apart from eating an apple? I'm good. I'm feeling quite refreshed, actually, because the apple... Oh, do you know what? Yeah. I'm, I've, I've got some Tesco orange juice for bits and I'm going to have a little sip of that. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, um, it's good to have snacks and uh, re-energize, revitalize yourself. That what's the weather like down there? Where you are right now? It's been shocking today. Has it? Yeah, it's been like on and off. Very heavy thick showers, actually oh. since since yesterday as well. Oh really? Um, oh wow. Yeah. That's been absolutely yeah. beautiful up in Scotland, where I am. Oh, it's beautiful. I was out trying to get a suntan, but then I couldn't be bothered. I went back in and had a nap. Yeah, but don't Scots tan even when it's cloudy? No, sun, sun. There's no clouds in the sky whatsoever, which is a very rare thing to see in Scotland. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you guys are anemic like you get so little sun What well, no 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 sun I have to I have to turn the blind Oh, well, we didn't see any of the practice test so we couldn't see so that's qualifying started anyways I think qualifying yeah, is just about to start by the way yeah, So <laughs> while, while we're talking about weather and, and all that um, Goodwood this is going to be fun for the drivers speaking of the sun. They've got like a nasty uh, sun in the track here Yeah, so that's uh, gonna hamper the drivers vis visibility Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, especially at turns one and two. I think it was at Ford Water and uh, what was it called? Yeah, Ma Mag after Magic Corner, that short shoot there. The sun's really ha bad there. We we we'll ride on board with one of them. Actually, let's ride on board with your teammate, Lorne. We'll see how bad the sun looks at uh, a Goodwood. So, make he's making his way towards Magic right now. And there, there's the sun. Look how... Look how gleamy that is though. I mean that's that that must be an absolute nightmare for the drivers to see just a a massive bit of sun right there. Massive bit of sun, yeah, that's the uh, technical expression for it. Mm -hmm. Um But yeah, it's quite a lot. But you'd expect that with sunset, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just gotta be able to keep your eyes a bit more peeled on breaking zones and the turning points than normal because yeah as I said before visibility is uh, going to be at a premium so we'll actually talk about the driver we'll, 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 we'll see about the drivers in this lobby for this one this this coffee break funsy thing so you got Law Inman Halix who's in a new livery deck car normally it's the black and yellow but uh, he's sponsoring like a, a red blue and a little bit of white on there too. Then you got Matty, who was actually quite fast in practice. Alex Tadir, who was uh, did a superb job in yesterday's race at uh, Qatar. Goofy, uh, fun Catalonian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thunderpig, who fair play to Thunderpig chose and then Wiley sacrificed their spots to make it a one lobby thing. So when it comes to the next endurance race, and I hope they're going to be automatically in the uh, the main event for that. Because they should be after that. After that nice yeah. gesture, what they did. Absolutely, we need to give them a bit of extra screen time today as well. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to focus on Wiley in that sock liveried Clio. Um, mm -hmm. I think I think it looks really nice that design. It does, I yeah. Use it at the moment, going through. What's oh, it's called? Magic. Magic. Yep. And I think is he is he close enough to Kufri to get a toe? No, no it's not. There's a bit of, is, is there a bit of baffling on it? Is that yes, there is. A Thunderpig. Thunderpig can see now going in towards Ford Water. 
now into St. Mary's, and oh, both of them are, oh, they're all going off! Why is off as well? He's like, if you join them, I'll join with you. I'll, I'll join in there, I'll join the party. Oh, this is going to be a problem for Pretch on his fast flying lap and chosen. Luckily, Wiley is sensitive. Oh! Did he almost collect the chosen? I think he might yeah, when he came, nearly came back on track into, uh, into chosen. Oh, uh, have you back <laughs> <laughs> we do have a new person in here. This guy is called Wob Bob. I kind of, I kind of like that gamer tag, and that sounds quite cute. Wob Bob, Wob Bob. Yeah, Wob Bob. Um, mm. So this event was open to rookies as well, uh, as it's a non-championship round. And yeah, Wob Bob has entered, and we'll see what he's able to do on his first flying lap. And Seems also, clean so far. I think he takes the an ultimate corner quite nicely, and then onto the chicane. And he takes that oh, nicely too. He got got a little bit wide on the exit, but it shouldn't cost him too much time. Um, I just seeing here. So okay, that's one twenty eight point six seven seven, which puts him currently seventh. seventh. Yep, which is not bad in your debut. He'll be looking to push. Further on the second flying lap. I'm just seeing here Alex Tanier is on provisional pole. So by a, a, by thousand, a thousandth, a thousandth of a second. Of a second. Yep, yeah, and how far back is Matty? Half a second adrift. And only Alex is fifth fastest and 1.1 adrift. That's not heard of. Alex being a second slower, that's that's. Oh, and that's Alex, unheard of. Is purple, Alex is purple by two tenths of a second. So if he's able to take the final corner, he's a little bit wide. Why death? on the grass. But he's able to maintain the speed. Now the chicane, make or break. Oh, Edmund goes to the point. Well. Edmund goes to oh, the point. Alex. Alex goes to the point now. Does Alex go to the top? No, he doesn't. He lost out by 34 thousandths of a second, probably, or by his own time. So we're, we're just past halfway through the qualifying. So it's Alex, Edmund, the usual suspects, one and two. Then you've got Alex to the third, Matty fourth, Law fifth, Pledgy sixth, Wob Bob still in seventh, Chosen TV in eighth. Wiley Coyote is just coming across the line right now. Let's see what time he does. He will do a 28.234. That will put him 8th on the grid. Goofy so, goes 9th. Attempt, sorry. Wob Bob is 9th and Goofy 10th. He's, he's potentially going to improve his lap, Wob Bob. And, yep, goes up to 7th. 7 thousandths uh, separating him from chosen in 8th place. So that's, that's a good job from Wob Bob. So he's found 6 tenths on his first lap. Uh, on his second lap compared to his first lap. So slowly yeah. getting faster. Speaking of getting faster, Halex has gone faster. He's purple going in towards, that would be Woodcoat. And then into the chicane. Let's see what... Um, the goat of ARC can do around at the chicane. Looks nice and tidy through there. Looks like he might improve his lap time. He could go into the 24s here, possibly. No, oh. doesn't. Only just improved by 14 pounds. So he did lose a tenth in that chicane. And uh, my teammate Law uh, went up from fifth to fourth on the grid, setting a 25.5. Yeah, um, that, was, that was an improvement of four tenths. Four tenths improvement from Law. He needs to find two more tenths if he wants to uh, overtake Alex and get uh, Zard on the grid. He's currently purple as they go through the first sector. So we'll see if he can get uh, St. Mary's right, not drift too far out, and here's where the sun hits you. Hopefully We're still riding with Law. Nicely. Into Levant. Yeah. A little bit wide on the apex, but was able to carry good speed anyway. Flat out there the, off of the exit. Yeah, it's the, it's the exit speed that you want going on to a long straight. Um, probably run about 15 20 seconds on the straight. Um, Is he purple? Power, so he's, no, he's not. He's lost time, he's lost about two temps. He took the final corner quite nicely, though. So, well, the penultimate corner. Oh, yes. a little slide breeze at the chicane. Anyway, it's a minute to go. Let's see if Law can improve. If he can, he does, but not good enough to get third place. But he's got one more lap to do. Halix didn't improve, but he's got one more lap to do. 
Edmund's on a personal best. He's about to cross the cross the line. Oh, and go to the goes... top! To the yeah. top! One twenty-five zero zero nine. So he'll steal the pole away, sliding his way through Madrick, and he's going off, and that'll be the end of qualifying for Edmund. And I think Alex Leo kind of followed suit as well, and he kisses the tire barrier too. So Price there, two qualifying's improved. done. Yeah, Pritchie's Price up to six. Improved. He improved his time from a 26.5 to a 26.1. So I'm, I think there's a theme of drivers actually uh, oh. learning the track um, as they're going through qualifying right now. Goofy's so found a new line. Goofy's trying to squeeze through the little gap there. And Thunder also improves on his time. Uh, yeah, he does this. Seventh, only yeah. a tenth off Predge in the end, but he found nine, a second. Uh, the best part of a, he found a second on that final run. So good job, Thunder. And let's see. And uh, what's happened here now with Thunder? He's uh, gonna go off into the weeds there, nearly. Okay, lovely. Uh, no, oh, he's, I think he's wanting to have fun at the weeds. I think. No, he's just dropping his car there. Okay, then, lovely stuff there. Okay, I think, I think, I think Wob Wob is. He, he definitely. Um, I think he is trying to do another lap, but uh, unfortunately, qualifying is over, and as he crossed the line after the eight minutes was up. So this lap won't count. Um, so, yeah. He's, he's just, it'll be maybe, more... Maybe he's he's just be trying me. to get a bit more practice, possibly. Yeah, we'll give him some more TV time, this, uh, our dear old Wob Bob. Wob Bob. Wob Bob. But he's slow anyways. He's, he's slow on this lap alone, so... I don't think he's going to improve. Not unless he finds, like, nine temps. Like a miraculous uh, time to... F in these last few quarters, but I don't think he will. Anyway, it makes his way towards the chicane, don't hit the tyre barrier, well, polystyrene barrier. And he's good enough there, so all the cars have done. Yeah, that barrier is brutal. Like, <laughs> oh, it, it, oh, it just, is. You, you, you hit it the wrong way and it's... Yeah, it's, um, not where you want to go. <laughs> So we'll give you a, down, a rundown of the 12 drivers there. You see Inman at the bottom, but he has got the fastest time, a 125.009. Halex, Halex was only 16,000 slower, so he didn't prove that time, but not good enough to get pole position. Uh, it says here Law got third. Law is uh, third with a 25.323, and he was six, 16,000 quicker than Alex Denier. So he found the 10th in the end. So he did. Yeah, oh. very good job from Law. What's happened now? I was doing the, the, the uh, Josh. I was doing the team. The f oh, for crying it's out loud! Stuck, it's a stick. It's a stick check. It's a stick check. I can't get off the screen. <laughs> I can't get off the close screen. Oh, there we go. All right, so we just do the stuck check then. Uh, we've got one comment on here. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's chosen. He's in here evening. Yeah. Hey, chosen. Now focus on the race, Jules, and get yourself up to the... Oh, wow. That looks like he jumped the start, nearly. Yep, all 12 of them are away, nice and well. So then, uh, do, you have, do you have any predictions then? Who do you think will come out on top in, in the first race? Uh, uh, someone has spun. I have, I oh, have fun to pick a spun. No I have absolutely no predictions because this track is um it's so unpredictable it, isn't it <laughs> any anybody nobody is immune to errors here and yeah the grass is um you, you touch it the wrong way and you're gonna go spinning so as someone in the background demonstrates who is that in the background who's just gone flying oh it's chosen it's chosen He's not typing again on on YouTube, is he? How how did he lose it this time? Oh God, he took. God, it was quite massive. Wow, that was ballsy of chosen to go through St Mary's like that. Oh God, thank God he he goes to there because that would have been the head on with him and the Terracus. Oh look at that, your your teammate Law's winning. Can he make yeah, it through the chicane? Oh, yeah, Inman's hit the chicane! Oh, oh Matty's hit the chicane! <laughs> Law's gonna win! Look at that! Law's gonna win the race! Look at that. 
It's just a shame it doesn't count, though. Yep, and he's got the uh, he's got the Nurburg King sponsor on uh, on that Cleo. If Where? If you'd like to also be the Nurburg King, then uh, sign up to the Enduro. Yes, that. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Well, that's when I was explaining that to Inman there uh, yesterday, the stream that you know. I, I we do think that you do have a fetish for endurance racing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> oh, there you go. You yes, see, there you are. Isn't that isn't that an emotional thing to see the rascal your teammate in victory lane now? Yeah, very very emotional. You can uh, I could just I could just hear it from the sound of your voice now. Let's see what's uh, happening in the chat then. Preggy saying hello, saying it like a police officer. Hello, hello. I'm welling with emotion right now, Savvy. Oh, I can I can hear it. It's you know it's. Yeah, it's uh, hmm. Mm. <laughs> yes. This is only just for this is only just a coffee break. This is a non-point event. It's just for fun. Um, so. Wait, who drank all the coffee? I don't like coffee. Uh, no, I don't like coffee. Why not? Why, why don't you like coffee? No, I no. That's that's um. That's. For numpties, well, I say numpties. My mum drinks the coffee numpties. in the month in the mornings, but that's it. What do you got against coffee? I don't like coffee. I'm not. I'm not a tea person too, as well. You know, I, I just thought of that song. I thought it was about coffee, but it, you know, the one about cricket. Well, I don't like cricket. I love it. Yeah, there we go. That one? Yeah, but I thought, that, <laughs> I thought the word was coffee. I thought you were a man of your music as well. I thought that was like your type of music, that. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's good it's good grooves. Alright. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's good vibrations. So, um, who do you think is going to win? Oh, it's a tricky one. Um, well, a basis on my teammate, um, oh no, well, yeah, but, you know, my teammate, um, what's his name? That, that guy, yeah, Alex, yeah, my teammate. <laughs> is, Your teammate, Alex. <laughs> yeah, who's doing all the races, not me. Um, okay. Yeah, Bold we're, we're not going through Bold. this discussion again, rascal. Bold prediction. <laughs> Alex and Inman take each other out, and mm -hmm. Law takes the win. Oh, okay. I or mean, Alex Tanir, you know the top three. They can, yeah. they can take each other out, like in the uh, in the flashback, flashback at Brands. Series, at yeah, Brands yeah. Only oh, no, that was Inman, Stephen, Stephen, yeah, Stephen, Alex, and Inman, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, this is this must be the race. Yeah, this is the first of twelve lap, uh, the first race of two. So this is how the starting grid will work. It will be Inman, Alex Law, Alex Tadir, Matty, Preggy, Thunderpig, Goofy, Wop Bob, Chosen, Ete like Wiley, and Eterdicus. I nearly skipped out uh, uh, Wiley there. Hope I don't get any death. I hope I don't really get death threats from the Wiley Coyote Fan Club. I do apologise there. Oh, don't be choking, rascal! I need you. <laughs> right here we go, man. Engine notes rise. Let's start. Away we go for the first of twelve laps, and looks like it's a good start from everyone, even at the back of the pack. And Inman will go down to block Calix to protect the lead into Madrick for the first time. They go, and looks like we're all already single file through the first three corners. There. Oh, oh no, Go maybe not. Goofy is having a look. Yep. Yep. Goofy and Thunder pick. And meanwhile, Alex Tanier trying to make a move on Law for P3, that is. Now, just seeing that nasty bit of sun now on the left side of the cars. Now they're going in towards Ford Water, they go now, and Law taking an awful lot of care been through there. How looks like he may have given Inman a bit of a bump. I know they are like best buds and that. Yeah, he had to check. Oh, Alex Ooh. was looking on the. Uh, trying to look down the inside of Law. Law's going a long way around Alex. Brave That's at the bank. Like that. Yeah. Mm. 
And Alex has just shuts the door there. Look at oh, Matty, the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. Matty versus, uh, sorry, Alex versus Matty. Side by side for P4. Matty gets oh, put Matty. on the grass there, nearly. Luckily, it's a long straight away there. I don't think he was put on the grass. Oh, and Alex is looking down oh, into the floor. Oh, no, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. just took a jump. Lord just took a massive jump. Look at Alex there, spinning for the wood goal. And Lord's back up into third. How did he do that? <laughs> Don't, what the fuck? I need to see replay. Oh, what's happened to Tania? Tania missed the back door. He must have made contact. I think he jumped. I think he's conceded. Yeah, he got into. He jumped actually. Law had all four wheels off. Then, I think it was. I think it was Tania that got into the back of Law that made him oh, go Inman's up in the air. Off. Oh, off oh, the Inman. Oh, and Matty's gone down the, uh, the inside of Law. Here comes Matty, and Law's now taken. Well, Matty's in the lead. Laws in second. What happened here? Did he? He's understeering, isn't he? Understeered there through Madrick. And Pred, right. Pred just made his way up into fourth as well through all of that. Oh, he has, yeah. Although, although he's got Alex breathing down his neck now. I know <laughs> a thing or two about that. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm in fact, Alex makes a look on the inside, going in towards Levant corner, and he will get that fourth place back. But Inman and looks like that. Too about that as well. Yeah, indeed you do. Yeah, but it looks like Inman's little moment at Madrick has not faced him at all because he's side by side with Matty. Because now Law's taking the the lead of the race. Oh God, Pritchie, what are you doing there? Were you trying to find a gap on the inside? Wait, one in the grass there, maybe. Right, anyways, back with Alex then. Now into towards oh Woodcote they God, go. What, what is happening? There's a gaggle of cars between sixth and tenth. And Goofy. Oh my god, Tania's car's that. lagging like mad! Oh, right in the back of. That must have been what have, um, caused the incident earlier, potentially the lag. But Alex got a great run out of the chicane and he's passed Wiley. Is he going to look up the inside of Wob Wob going into Madwick? Looking at Alex there, he's up to third, so Matty must have lost well, another Wob, spot. Wob Wob's held it around the outside. That's really good defensive driving from. The rookie. Go on, Wob Bob. Yeah, go Wob Bob. And he's he catching Chosen, I think he is. And who's that two at the back of the pack? That's fun to pick in the Terracus there, so uh Actually, fair, we don't know what's happening. To Chosen as well. He made yeah, yeah. His way up he's up to safe. Oh what's Alex doing? Alex is spazzing out. What's where's he off to? I he's not lagging whatsoever on my screen. He's lagging so on I... my screen. You should see it. Look at you should check on the <laughs> He's really lagging on my screen, is Alex. Oh no. Ho hopefully he's not lagging for anyone else, but... Oh, oh wow. what Bob? What Bob puts a move on there, Chosen? And, and now they're free of rest! They're free of oh rest down God. the Levant straightaway! Chosen oh, on the outside, what Bob in the middle, Alex on the inside, and Alex is the one that prevails! That is a ballsy move by Alex. <laughs> Can he get the and he runs right through one kite. He's gone right through one kite. Careful with the chicane. Oh, just slots in behind oh, wow. Chosen. Slots in right behind Chosen. I tell you what, that was. I I'm surprised it didn't end worse than it, it looked like it was going to. Looking um, back then at Goofy. Goofy trying to make yeah, a move around the outside, outside of what Bob at Madrid. And Chosen's gone off. And so and too is Goofy. And Goofy's gone off too, so three of them again, like we saw in qualifying. And Wob Wob's gone into sixth position. It's a sixth position. position. And what Wiley could and Wiley could take up, go back up, go into seventh here. Oh, no, he's gone in the grass. And Alex has gone off. No, he's spazzing out again. He's back lagging again. There he is. I should, I should really clear my cash, I think. The battle for sixth is just ridiculous right now. What, what is happening in the, in the midfield? Um. Just looking oh. up front, you have Halix, Inman, and Law. The top three are oh, separated Halex. by nothing. Halix was trying to do a pass in the grass on the, on the Levant Street. Inman dives to the inside at Woodcote. Halix goes to the outside. Now there's contact with Inman and Halix. But it looks like that was all perfectly fine so far. Now into us just came. There's a bit of breathing room now with Law and Inman. Oh, and Halix goes into the back of Inman. But Inman's... Somehow held onto the onto the car really well, um, and that might have actually gained from that because um, yeah. 
Oh, Bob, 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 Bob has just spun out the chicane. Bob, Bob oh, just no, spun out. Bob. Yeah, Bob, Bob just spun out the chicane there. We just caught a glimpse oh. of it when I was on board. Well, when I was looking at Rob, Bob there for six. So the good work from Rob, Bob's come undone now. And Wiley, <laughs> Wiley's up to seventh. What are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry, I need a moment. <laughs> Oh, Alex Rogers is in the chat. Hello, Alex, there. Saying, Bob, Bob. <laughs> now then, Law versus Inman is, uh, is our co-commentators having a laughing fit. Law looks like he nearly lost it there on the uh, Levant corner. Now on towards the Levant straight away. Still protects the lead, though. Inman tucked up right into the slipstream. Hopefully, we're going to have Rascal back anytime soon. There he is. Hello. There he is. There. Have you, have you, have, have you finished your laughing fit? Just about, just about. <laughs> oh, Inman is going to try to up the inside. At Woodcoat. Law says, no, you don't. I'm slamming the door right in your face, whether you like it or not. That's the, uh, that's the Great Wall of Myanmar and Ulster. <laughs> Holding on to first position. It must be a um, massive wall then, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Inman. Yeah. Inman going around the outside, then going into the first corner. We're going to be starting the second half of this race. But Law still trying to hold on. Now, we've seen Law's pretty... He's, he's quite good at defending. I remember back in there, I think it was at Sedegna, he held on. He really defended second place for the pretty much the race of his life with Kofi and West. It looks like he's trying to do it again, but I think Inman may have an overlap this time in towards Fordwater, and I think that will be a lead change, is it? Oh, Law's going to hang out oh, wide, he's off! Off going in towards St. Mary's, he's going he's to go right across, right in front of oh, the whole no. field there! And that's as uh, Law has gone off into the daisies, and that is the race win pretty much gone. I wouldn't say it's gone. If, if Alex can catch Inman, then... Uh... You know, there could be some fireworks there, <laughs> uh, especially as this is uh, a coffee break. Um, Alex is firmly in the slipstream of Inman, so he's going to be gaining all the while down the straight. Uh, Matty, Matty's catching the pair of them up front, and Matty was quite quick in practice. If there are any shenanigans, Matty is there to profit. Is Alex? Goes very close to Inman. Oh, Jr. they're both again. gone in the grass. I don't know if there was contact. I think someone may have hit the wall. I don't know if that would have been the the solid polystyrene wall. Who was it? Kofi in chat has just said, "Law took the racing line." <laughs> <laughs> well, Inman's taking taking Magwick superbly and just broken free of Alex by. Like just out of the slipstream range, so mm -hmm. this could be Inman's chance to to push and just um, yeah, like win the race, just get some fresh air. Meanwhile, well, having a look then at Pridgey, he's just having a, a border race by himself there in fifth, four seconds behind Law, and five seconds ahead of the very laggy Alex Tanier. Do you see it on on the stream? He's he's, he's no, I don't know what's happened to him. Oh, he's gone off, actually. Alex had a moment at St. Mary's. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, no, it looks it, it looks absolutely fine on my screen. Hmm. Oh, um, Goofy in seventh. Eighth is Wiley. Ninth is Wob Bob. Tenth is Chosen. He's fallen quite a bit down there. He must have had a bad last lap there because he was three seconds slower than his uh, previous lap. Thunderpig and Eternicus. That is the 12 cars that are in this uh, race. But it looks like Halix and Inman are so close together. I think Inman may have made a mistake there because Halix has just gone in the inside. So I think Inman made a mistake at the chicane, did he? Yes, he did. He went off. And that momentum just completely lost. And then Halix goes to the inside right up against the pit wall. And that is another lead change. And this time Halix is now back where he normally is. And that's position number one. Inman's still got the slipstream, though. He's gaining. And Matty, down this back section. and Matty's not far off though too, Matty only 1.4 adrift of the top two ahead. 
And I tell you what, Law looks like he's catching too. Oh, Law, Law's Law's fire. Really nice run. Alex is gonna go defensive. Law actually set the fastest lap of the race. Actually did the fastest lap even in qu after qualifying too. He's into the 24s, so Law is flying after making that huge mistake on lap six. Oh, look at Inman. Inman and Halex then side by side down 11th Street they go. Who's going to go out on top of this one? Halex will have the inside going in towards Woodcote they go. Really late on the brakes. Oh, Emma tries to go Alex. around the outside of uh, Halex there. That was audacious. Halex didn't quite leave Inman enough room and pushed uh, him onto the grass as Halex himself runs onto the grass on the exit of the chicane. There's four, so there's four laps to go. Halex. Why is, is he even? Now, he's even left and right. Good, he's, he's trying to get the tires. grass. He's cleaning the tires. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. And now look, you've got Matty and Law that have joined the party as well. The top four now left to the second. So yeah, your prediction, it, it could, you know, it could be actually true. It could actually be. I mean, if that is actually the case, then can you pick my lottery numbers next week? Look, I'm good at I'm good at prophecies, so I wouldn't do it for free. Well, 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 twenty p and a curly whirly will do. Oh, and Laura has done a really nice switch back on Matty, and now he's up into third position. We'll have we'll see a replay of that then. So was this a crisscross into Ford Water? Yeah, Matty took a lot of curbing through there. Was thinking about making a move on the inside of Enman. Yeah, and just does the cutback. Really nice pass that was there from Law. But Matty's in the slip of Law, so can he respond? And Law is pretty much in the slipstream of Halex and Inman, who are still so battling Inman, side by side Alex, down Alex towards Woodcote. the inside again. Inman's going to break later. He's got, is he, is he got to work this time? Oh, and off into the grass again because Inman and Halex didn't push him off though. Halex did give him the room. But the top four, no Satel. This is going to oh, be like another no, Brands Hatch. Matty! Matty's lost it, isn't he? Did he hit the barrier? Yeah, he hit it a little bit. Did he hit I the heard a noise? He, I heard a noise to say it was. I was on board with Law, and I heard the noise. So here we go. He, he hit the barrier and it just put him out. Oh yes, car. yes. He, oh, and he's he gone hit, wide again. He hit the solid polystyrene wall with the chicane. Yeah, so Matty, yeah, he's fallen he, adrift there. He's got to be careful though, because Preggy will come up quite soon. I tell you what, he, look he at ran, him. He ran wide at Madrick. Um, as well, so yeah, oh. not, not a good couple of corners for Matty. Battle uh, going on for seeing? seventh now. I've just seen Wiley Coyote going off at the gravel trap. Oh my god! Yeah. I mean, in the in the yeah, sorry, so... not gravel trap. Oh, Goofy was having a look on the inside of Wiley Coyote going into the chicane. That does not work. Two and two cars side by side in the chicane oh, does wait. not work. Goof Goofy got a major run on Wiley through Magic, and he's now up into eighth. Chosen took advantage of the situation as well. So why are they down to 10th? But Wob Wob, Wob Bob, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, Wob is not too far ahead of this pack either. So if Goofy can get a move on, and all these guys can work together, then they'll be catching Wob Wob and make this, you know, a four car scrap. I tell you what, Law's back into the lead. We've got two laps to go. We hadn't seen that, but Law, after making that mistake on lap six, he's back to the lead of this race. I don't know how on earth he did it, but he somehow managed to do it, get by both Inman and Halix. And it looks yeah, like he's actually stretching his legs away from Inman and Halix. It's Law got a bit of boost in that car. Oh, he's and he's purple. purple. He's buff. He's absolutely flying now. We, I seen we were. I was looking on bottom for a couple of laps there as him and getting a little bit sideways out of St Mary's. That's going to allow Halex an opportunity to get second around the outside, going in towards Levant Corner. Has he got it? They're still side by side. This is good thing to see Law behind oh, to see Halex. those two side by side. Halex runs nearly a little bit wide off the exit of Levant Corner now into the straightaway, and Inman still holds on to second place, but the gap stopped to one point two seconds. And Wob what if just set, Wob Wob just set his fastest lap of the race so far, and so the gap from him to Goofy hasn't come down so much. Although Goofy also set his fastest lap on that last time round. Yeah, twenty-seven um, six for for Wob Wob 
and but Goofy yeah, they're, did a 27-7. They're, they're dropping Wily and Chosen um, at a decent rate. In fact, Chosen's gone off. Oh, Chosen has, yeah. He's down to 11th place. That's at Pit St. Mary's. Oh, he's just lost it big time through there. Yeah. So Thunderpig goes up to 10th. And he's back down and to we... last position because Eternicus has gone by. So anyway, on to the final lap. And, and, it, uh, and Halix Law. and Enman still side by side for second. But, but Law has a 1.4 second gap over them. So this, he just needs to keep it nice and tight through the next half of the lap. And this should be his. The, this is well, a, they've a great drive. We didn't really see much of the how we was able to overtake both of Halix and Enman, but... What a performance! And he, his last lap was a, um, a twenty-four point nine again. Yeah, which was two thousands quicker than his previous best lap. So, Oof. yeah, Law lost flying around this racetrack. Like I said, we did see qualifying going into the one twenty-fives dead. So he's actually quicker hear, than what they did in qualifying. I hear that his livery gives him an extra five horsepower. No, oh, that'll be why then. That, that, that's that, that's cheating then. Maybe this should be disqualified. Anyway, through the chicane they go there. Rascal, get your handkerchief because you'll be absolutely in tears there to see Law winning this race there. The first of the coffee. And you can hear that the jubilance there from Rascal as Law wins the race there. Halleck second. Inman gets there. We wait for Matty. What could have been? Because he would have been up as high as second with Alex and Inman keep slipping up each other. But fourth place, no matter what, decent effort from him. Predge will cross the line in fifth. Alex Tadir comes across in sixth. What, Bob? Here he comes then. A massive 21 seconds away from Alex Tadir, but still a solid seventh place in your. Well, would I want to say it's his first time in the. Uh, in an ARC it, it, event? It's, it's his first it's his first official ARC event. Yeah, so there you go, P seven there for Wob Bob. That he'll take great heart from that. And he'll start quite high up for the reverse grid too. Go three will be eight. Thunder pick ninth. Here comes Wiley. Comes across the line in tenth position. Eleventh place will be Eternicus and then there's chosen TV. Here they come then. So Ternicus makes his way around the chicane so to just chosen and they're going to be starting on the front row for the reverse grid race. Wiley will start third, Thunderpick will start fourth, Goofy will start fifth and the winner Law will start twelfth and last. Oh Alex has got a penalty. But uh, yeah that, that was a good fun race. I think we should race a good bit more often. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. As long as I can watch it and not have to race myself that is... Uh... That would be the ideal, yeah. Um, yeah, if that was Carnage, so reverse grid, um, I feel like that's gonna be anarchy. I, I, yeah, I, I'm not <laughs> sure I'm gonna be able to speak after this, but um, <laughs> whew, building myself up. Actually, I'll tell you what I should do. Um, well, there's a look then at the race results. So Law wins at Halleck second, Inman third, Matty, Predge, Alex Dale, Wob Bob, Goofy, Thunderpig, Wiley, Eternicus, Chosen. I'm going to save that replay actually because that is awesome. But this one should be crazy. Oh, this should be. Yeah, this should be. Oops, that's the wrong one. I should go on to the op options maybe. I don't know. Oh no, Alex said in the chat there, sorry guys, had some lag issues. Yes, I thought it, I thought it was just myself. That I was having lag issues there, but it looks like that. Um, it looks like Alex did have some technical difficulties there on his end. I thought it was just for my end. If your end was fun, uh, it was fine. Sorry, but uh, no. Anyways, we're going to go night racing. Looks like then it's a uh, good wood for the reverse grid. So this should be uh, more fun. I think um, <clears throat> I think Wiley's having a little bit of a moment there. He's just contemplating on his teammate uh, winning the uh, the coffee break first race there. I think he's uh, I think the emotions is getting too much there to Rascal, and uh, yeah. What? Sorry. Oh, you're back again. No, nothing, nothing. I didn't say anything. I was <clears throat> sorry. I was sending a message. 
Or were you saying, oh, well done, Law, I love you, you're my best teammate ever. Was that, was it something no. like that? Oh, okay then. No, I was, um... <laughs> It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Inman wants to get race two over and done with Aaron. So this is the 30 minute race. It's a long race. Yeah, f yeah 30 minutes minute. for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they will have to make a pit stop, don't they? And the fuel will also count too, I, isn't it? I don't, I think the pits are off for this round completely. So it's just straight out 30 minutes because there is no pit lane. Like yes, the there is. is so, There's the a pit lane now. So small. I I don't. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I'll we'll have to. We'll have to see when it gets going. But I'm pretty sure this is nowhere whatsoever this entire round. Looks like we've got everyone on the grid. Yep, everyone is all on the grid. And it isn't. It isn't a manual rolling start, isn't it? I got that mistake the first time we did it. Anyway, so no, here we it's, go. It's, not, it's it's just again another start like what we did there so here we go then starting grid it is reverse grid in the night now of goodwood and it'll be chosen tv eternicus wiley thunderpig goofy wob bob alex pred j batty inman halix and law that is how they could uh, fare for the starting grid for the second race 30 minutes around this incredible track i mean we should have this in the gr3 championship for sure that would be absolutely fun <laughs> no, here we go then Oh, it would be. Anyway, away we no, go there. It wouldn't. Looks like Wob Bob Bear lit up the front tyres there, so he may lose a couple of spots in the process. But Chosen had a good start. Wiley's going to go up into second place, trying to go around the outside of Eternicus through Madrick. And I think that might be fun to pick, trying to go around the inside of everyone as the cars all light up there. And now they're going to oh be Philly for the best. Wiley's gone off the grass, so he's going to go down to last now, along with Wob Bob. And he's been contact on with the in grass. Inman's Inman, on the grass. Inman is just, he's just rallying right now. Oh, oh he right in front of him. He, he got reset. <laughs> he got reset. Oh, my goodness. What actually <laughs> happened? Inman oh, what Bob? got reset by a massive amount just now. <laughs> that could have been an almighty <laughs> accident if that was on Ghost. Yeah, I'm seeing the replay. He just kept going. He was, Yeah, he was going rally cross. Comes right in front, nearly into what Bob and got resetted and now he's down he's 16 seconds back he's, he's 20 seconds back on my screen he's yeah 20 seconds back yeah 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 oh that, that is the funniest oh. thing i've ever seen eternicus <laughs> <laughs> has got half a second penalty you have so to sorry, probably you have to burn that across the start finish i don't think i don't know how, i don't know where the penalty burns are on this track but anyway goofy up to third eternicus fourth law in fifth from 12th on the grid and i think he's having a look on the inside of the chicane and he's got their third place now apparently oh my god law and halix have cast oh, away eternicus Eternicus wow. and Tania make contact on the shot and on the start and finish street. How does Eternicus have a penalty? He's burning it now. And oh, and Predge hits him actually. I think that might have been a bit of lag. And Matty then also hits him. Oh, and Predge has gone off. Well, not to lose it. And Predge has gone wide at Madgwick. And Eternicus is back up in the sixth position. Oh my goodness. Inman might have a chance of winning this race from God <laughs> knows where if, if they keep doing this. Um, I oh, would miss Chosen, because Chosen is 2.1 seconds ahead. I was just going to say, Chosen had checked up, but Goofy's just passed. Oh, what's happened here? Law's gone off! Law's just went off! And he's been reset as well. <laughs> what happened there? Right, let's ride on board with Law. So, they're making their way towards Fordwater, in towards St. Mary's. Did he have help? Did he lose it? He just oh, carried too much speed at Fordwater and just spun. Oh, and he nearly got collected by Alex still, too. Oh, in fact, did he actually make contact with Alex? Oh, I don't know. Where's Alex? He's down in fourth. Did he make contact? Oh, and Goof... Goofy is in second position. Yeah. Right in front of Alex. Oh, oh and, and Goofy's he's got, got a half a penalty. second penalty. Oh, no. And now Alex from like it's eleventh. It's ele because he cut. It's because he cut the final corner a little bit too much. Um, yeah, um, that's why he got the half second penalty. But that, that's not. I was surprised because I saw Alex in second position previously. Goofy clearly making his way back through the field. He, he's still in fourth position, but Matty's now right on his tail. 
And if you're going to think about making a move into what, what's that going to be called? Ford, wa Ford, Ford water. Ford water. Here we go then. What Bob sixth? Eternica seventh. A little bit of oh, Robin. Matty and Goof. Oh, Matty and Goofy getting close together. There's a bit of rubbing involved, but they managed to get out of it somewhat cleanly. I'm and now chosen, who's been in the lead for the first two laps, is now under pressure from Halix. Yeah, and Halix, who started this race in 11th, and we're just going to be ending in the third lap, and he's going to be going from 11th to first in, well, now, actually. Well, Chosen's trying to fight it around the outside. But, oh, and he's running a little bit wide. Oh, no, don't hit the tire wall, Chosen! Oh, my goodness me, nearly right in front of Alex Tanier. So now Chosen down to third, Tanier up to second. Matty and, and Goofy are still having their little war between themselves there. I saw he did well not to lose more time there. He oh, my, oh, my goodness, oh, there's this... Well. There is some fisticuffs going on between Goofy and Matty. Oh, yeah. It's oh, there's happening. more contact. Oh, this is World oh, War Goofrey's 3 arrived. between these two. And um, is Wob Wob going to be able to come through as well? Into oh, this position. Where did Goofy go? Goofy's gone off. Thunderpig's gone off, too, in the background. And why are these going to go up into 8th position? Because Thunderpig went off. Here we go, then. Let's see it. So, so Goofy's gone down to 7th. So Turnicus is up into 6th place. Ah, Goofy carried too much speed through Magwick, and that's why he went off. Yeah. Clips the tyre barrier, and then you see also far in the background, Thunderpig going off there too. I don't know what happened to In. Inman and Predge lost a lot more time. Um, so, so Inman's now 27 seconds off the lead, and Predge is only in front of him. I don't know if they got caught up in an incident with each other, or if... if they lost it on their own, but they're together on track, so hopefully they can keep each other company because they're a long way off the leaders. But I mean, as you said, though, Inman's still got a chance to win this race, so you never know around Goodwood. It's been unpredictable as it always be, as it has been, well, like Honestly, you said, Hal said in the first so round. Alex has taken the lead, and he is two seconds over Alex Tanir. Alex, I don't think he needs to go at nine, you know, 98%, 99%. Like I, th I think if if he just relaxes a little and focuses on like making sure the car doesn't go off, then he's got this in the bag for sure. I just um, think Goofy just there uh, was unghosted. I'm just seeing what he did. Another half a second penalty. Yellow flags also been waved there. What Bob made another mistake at the chicane. He's just recovering back on the track there. So what Bob's had a, a problem there. And Thunderpig is up uh, up a few spots too because of that. So yeah, Thunder picked up to 7th place. We did see him go off the grass at Madrick a few laps ago. Goofy flashing the lights now to Thunder Pick, saying, Hey, move out of the way, I'm coming through. And look there in the back. Oh, contact with Thunder Pick and Goofy there into Ford Water. Goofy around the uh, outside of Thunder Pick oh, and, and Law is there to pick up the pieces if anything happens. Wow, he did the, the same move as he did in the previous race on, uh, was it Matty? Steaming up the inside of Wob Wob um, at St. Mary's. Brilliant pass. And now you have that scrap. Um, even Wiley is not too far ahead of this. So Wiley is how many seconds ahead of Law? Uh, he's only he's only two, two seconds, seconds ahead of Wob Wob in tenth. So that's not that's nothing. A Wob Wob breaks a bit too early for Ooh, the I final think corner. I thought Wiley had a moment at Mudcoat there, and now oh god, oh, this this is not that's not an overtaking opportunity there, Law. That's silly. <laughs> yes, but oh, he's Thunder Pig's gone off. off. Thunder off. Yeah, he's put Thunder and now off. And Law's going to take full advantage. And he's in the slipstream of Goofy position. too. He's in the t he's tucked up in the slipstream of Goofy, so that's eighth place now for Law. Oh, Goofy's, where... oh, to Goofy's go off. gone off. Goofy's gone off as well as Thunderpig yet again. And now Law's on the inside of Wiley, and that's sixth place there. So Law having the, uh, a bit of a recovery drive after that huge off at lap two, I think that was. He's only three seconds to catch up to Victoricus, and that's him up into the he's top got, five. He's got 21 minutes to catch Chosen in third position. Chosen, less than 10. Uh, so Chosen's 13 seconds behind Alex. Law is 22 seconds behind, so that's 9 seconds. Can he catch 9 seconds 
in the next 21 minutes. You wouldn't bet against it, would you? No. And look at Inman. Inman is all over the back of Thunderpick now. He's uh, cleared. He's checked that way from Bridgie. I tell you what, there's so much action going on, and we're not even past 10 minutes of this race. So I'll be interested to see if Inman can also have a recovery drive, because he's 28 seconds off the lead. He's now, uh, let's see if... Uh, let's and he's going for 10 on the outside. Uh, a free wood coat, and indeed, so. yeah, Thunderpig just breaks a bit early, just lets him go by. So, Inman on a oh, charge, as well as Lark. ragged edge. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so too is Goofrey as well. well. Goofrey had a moment on the exit of the chicane. Nearly lost that Cleo, but kept it going. Maybe he's had a few martinis in that car. <laughs> yeah, I think Goofrey's had well, one maybe, too many. Maybe those, would, maybe those would help you drive around this track because it's... Yeah. Well, we don't, um, we don't, want, we don't want to encourage you, drink you, driving there, folks, by the way. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, I'm not going to encourage drink driving, but uh, maybe, maybe for afterwards then. You know, after you've had enough of this, <laughs> um, you need a stiff drink to uh, to put everything right. Let's try it on board then with Inman making his way towards St. Mary's, it's really closing up. Person right there. Who, me? No, me, me. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, but I don't drink, so I'm who, all right. Who just, who just went off up ahead? That looked like Eternicus. Oh, oh Eternicus. Goofy just goes right in course of Inman. <laughs> oh. I tell you what, Goofy must have had way too many martinis out in this set in this race alone because he's made contact with Matty, he's made contact with Inman, he's probably made contact with me, and I'm up in Scotland. He's on a good lap, to be fair. It says he's purple on my screen, but I don't, I can't be right. So I'm just looking at a lap on board here with Inman around Goodwood. Bob, Bob and yeah, yeah. Wiley. Oh, look at the oh, run! Yeah, oh my God, God Goofy! But Goofy yeah. blocked him. That was that was a block. Yes. Um, I don't think Inman will appreciate that because, uh, yeah, he was you know he was moving into that gap and then Goofy just blocked, like pure up blocked him off. Oh, what Bob, Bob? What Bob has gone off? Wide. And uh, yeah, he, that's going to put him down into a level's position, unfortunately. Um, Still 10 seconds ahead of Predge. So, hopefully, Predge. Oh, can, uh, find like, speed. get this! Inman just trying to bump his way through Goofy into Ford Water. Now, into what's oh, it, Mary? He's outside, but he's running wide. Ah, he's gone off wide again. Off he goes. Oh, I'll tell you what, he'll be absolutely oh, fuming at Goofy. Right and Thunderpig still through, though. I'll tell you what, that's a ballsy move from Thunderpig because he didn't really know where Inman was going. He still stuck it around the outside, put his car on the grass, and made it work up into ninth position. Um, yeah, ballsy move from Thunder, liked it a lot. Uh, but Hinman's now got the run again on the Lavin straight. So is he going to look into Woodcuts? Oh! Thunderpig Thunder had uh, two wheels on the grass there, so he wouldn't get stopped in time. So he's back up into ninth, and now he's got to face Goofy yet again. Goofy trying to do the Kofi strategy, and yesterday's Catalonia race, how he was all over the back of the Darf at the most parts of the world, well, the first half of the race. Yeah, we're still keeping our eyes out on Inman here. So Alex is still leading. Alex near second. Matty is in third. We'll wait and see what Law's doing. Meanwhile, I think Wiley Coyote had a moment on the ex uh, made a, had a moment on the first corner because he's gonna lose seventh place now to Goofy. So that will put Wiley down to eighth. And what can Inman do? Can he take full advantage of that as well? He's gonna have a look on the inside of Ford Water on Wiley. No, he doesn't. Oh, Wiley, Wiley looks like he's... Oh, I thought Wiley was going to go off at St. Mary's, and that's going to compromise him through that corner. And that's how he plays now for Inman. Inman does the law. He does the old mm -hmm. switch back on St. Mary's. Good, yeah. good pass. Um, old... Inman is only five seconds behind the law. So if he can pass Eternicus and Goofy pronto, then, uh, you know, I, I don't think he's out of a question for a podium either. Yeah, but like, we know how fast Inman can be. Now he's had problems trying to get by Goofy uh, a lap ago. Ooh, I thought he was going to go into the back. Of, I thought he was going to hit Goofy at the back. 
Navin into the chicane, backs off a little bit, tries to get the run off the corner. Atenicus running a little bit wide there. Oh, he's going for a pass oh, in the grass, so and then he puts him up what? against the pit. Whoa! Oh, the Atenicus is there as well. Oh, what's going to happen here? Into Goofy's gonna, and Goofy's gonna hang out wide. The turn of kiss is gonna be as a use as a pick. Oh my goodness me! Look at this. The three cars are so oh, close. There's more contact there. <laughs> this is why this is a coffee break, ladies and gentlemen. Get your, get your elbows out there. Sorry. Edmund has finally found a way by Goofy, but he, he set that move up at the chicane. Hence why he break a little bit earlier than Goofy. Made the run. Pretty much hit a pass in the grass. Oh, he did. Goofy's trying. He's tried to move on Eternicus and has made it stick. Oh, Goof Goofy's driving aggressively, but it's working right now because he's pulling off some nice moves. But yeah, oh, he is he oh, is he getting all out of shape? Yeah, I thought he did. I don't Eternicus know. Eternicus is going to have the run, but he makes the block on Eternicus. Wow. Yeah, I tell you what, I've never I'm seen not, Goofy. I'm not a fan of that. I have not seen Goofy do this type of aggressiveness there. I tell you what, he's getting his 15 minutes of fame right here. <laughs> he's he's going to become the villain of ARC if he uh, <laughs> if he keeps the, uh, this, kind oh, of this kind of block. Wiley, Wiley and Eternicus there. Wiley goes off at Woodco. I and someone's off in the grass. Is that Inman? Inman's gone off on the grass. That, that, now Goofy nearly went off in the chicane. Oh, Thunderpick fun. nearly went off too. And Predgy looks like he's on the grass too in the background. Yeah, Pred, Pred just has been keeping his nose clean for the last few laps. And now we can see this massive pack of cars up ahead of him. He must be thinking it's Christmas. You know, finally. Um, Battle for fourth place though. Chosen versus Law. Law's caught up now. To the back of a chosen, and we've just passed halfway through this race, so we'll give you a rundown of this madness race. Halix leads the way by a country oh, mile. Oh, Law's got Law's oh. got the run on chosen Try on the outside. the outside. Yeah, chosen Into just lets him one. by. Yeah, he just lets him by. So good thing, good good awareness there from chosen. Good driving um, from the power of them. Although you could have done Lord. a goofy and give give Lord a bit of a fight there, but you know, oh well, more fair. <laughs> well, um, Law, Law is seven, now seven seconds behind Matty, so we'll see if, uh, anyway, so you were going to do the rundown, weren't you? Yeah, we were. So, Halix leads the way by over five seconds. Alex Tadir is 15 seconds ahead of Matty. Well, nearly 16 seconds there. In fact, he was actually unghosted, so I think Matty may have had a penalty in that lap there. So... Matty still holding on to third place. Law in fourth. Chosen TV in fifth. Inman trying to run down Chosen in sixth. The ever aggressive Goofy, who's had one too many martinis. And it's oh, absolute oh chaos God, at the sorry. back of the pack there. Thunderpick scrapes, smacking the tyre barrier in eighth. Eternicus ninth. Wiley Coyote tenth, who's side by side with Wob Bob. And there's Pred J last, in last position and trying to catch up with these two ahead. Well, catch and up with these four. As you said, Atanik has made a move on Thunderpig at the first corner. Um, it was a good, good, clean pass. And so now it's about how will Thunderpig responds to that. You know, he's still in the toe. He's still close to Atanikus. It's just about keeping his cool and trying to spot a weakness in, uh, you know, in his armor, so to speak. Atanikus runs a little bit wide. At St. Mary's. So Thunder's going to be side by Someone's side off. Going Someone's gone off at Levant Corner. Who is that? Someone has gone off. Is that Goofy? No, it's Alex. Alex is lagging again on my end. Which Alex Tanir. Yeah, he's lagging off again. Uh, he, on my screen, he's six seconds behind Alex and 18 seconds ahead of Matty. So he's in a comfortable second position. Yeah, well, he's well, comfortably up against a tire body on my screen. Ah. <laughs> uh, that may be an issue. GT Sports Service, thank you very much. Is anyone else seeing this? The nine people that are watching this, are you seeing this? What I'm seeing? Look at him! My God, that is major twerking. Look at him go! He's actually he's he's moonwalking. <laughs> this is quality. This is actually Wobble. amazing from Alex. Oh anyway. wow! Wop is making a move on Wiley for tenth position. And Predge is going to get involved as well. And now he's up into 11th. He's got the run on Wob Wob. Um, I think further ahead, 
Uh, Thunder got back past the Tanakus. Oh, Wobble moves very late to cover off Pretch. Yeah. But it's Owen Goofy! Goofy? Oh my god! And Thunder's off, and Alex Tanner has left the room. What oh! is happening in the second? And Goofy and went right up! Goofy came back across the track right in front of Riley Coyote and just lost him. Oh, where the nerf is Goofy going there? I think he's going towards Middlesex, isn't he? Comes up right in front of... Oh, there goes Thunderpig. He's having fun in the grass yet again. And then he goes into St. Mary's, gets into Wiley Coyote, and... Yeah, Goofy, just put those martinis down, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, um... <laughs> Oh, you've you've not impressed Rascal now. You've not impressed him. If he sees if he sees, if he sees Daddy Drive and that's it, you're not in his good books. <laughs> um, Sparrow thought for poor Alex Tenere, who had an amazing race up to that point, was running up in second position. Alex was not actually that far ahead of him, mm -hmm. so he was he was driving brilliantly. And then to be disconnected, oh, Goofy hits the chicane. Square on that's gonna scrub a ton of speed, and yeah. I mean, there's no damage, but uh, well, luckily, there's yeah. no damage, yeah. There is damage on, I but I think it's light that, damage, isn't it? Hopefully, it doesn't damage his, hopefully doesn't damage his confidence. Um, oh, hopefully, don't damage the martini in his cockpit the way yeah. that he's been driving this race. <laughs> Revan Rodney in chat says, uh, he was kicked from the room. Oh, that's to the um, ear, that's yeah. to the ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, Alex. Um, Rodney, um, yeah, unfortunately, the surface is crap. So, um, yeah, indeed, yeah. Work with what we've got. Um, so Halix is now only twenty-five seconds in the lead. Um, Law's catching to Matty in second, and is Inman yeah. catching up to? Yes, Inman's catching up to Chosen. So potential two battles going on for second and third. Now fourth and fifth is Inman. Trying to recover from the uh, moments that he had with uh, Goofy and the first lap as well. He's going to get by Chosen in towards the first corner. Oh, this time Chosen is trying to make it have a fight of it, but Inman is through. So that's P4 now for Inman from starting 10th on the grid. I'll tell you what, the battle is still raging on here with Wob Bob in 6th, Wiley 7th, Eternicus 8th, and Preggie now in ninth. I am so impressed with Chosen right now, because he has been... Like, if you look at his lap times, how consistent they've been. You know, 27s in the last couple of laps, 26 on the previous lap, 27s, and then 28. So he's get, actually been getting faster as well. Um... And he's got a 16 second buffer to Wob Wob in sixth position. So, Chosen is, uh, I think he's starting to be a bit more comfortable on this track. And he's on course for an excellent result. Oh, if he stays where he is, if he keeps those consistent lap times, that's, fifth, that's a top five finish guaranteed for Chosen. Bar and yeah. if uh, the other guys ahead don't slip up. But it looks uh, like. Uh, it's a good drive. And Law is slowly catching up to Matty. Gap now two seconds with eight minutes to go on the clock. So, what do we say? Roughly five laps to go? Five, six laps to go, maybe? Can I, can I just comment on the fact that Halex is just going to 24.6? Why does he need to push? Why does he need to push? He's got a 26 second advantage. <laughs> this, is, this is him showing why he's Halex. Why, you know, why he's where he is. He could rest on his laurels oh no wait i don't know why i should criticize him for that because he's my teammate go on alex go push even more <laughs> he's, he's got a 26 he's got such a huge gap he could be taking easily just to seal the win but no he's he just wants to go as fast as he can and he's he's not far off his his lap um this time out either i wonder if he gets the chicane right is he gonna go purple yet again Ooh, runs onto the grass, rallying through the final corner. Maybe that's the fastest way to do it. Cleans his tyres. It's 25-1, so no, he must have lost, um, or half a second actually, taking it that way. So, uh, yeah, clearly rallying is not as fast as keeping on the track. Um, good to know that now. Alright, just looking at this battle then for sec. Wob Bob, Wiley, Eternicus, and Predgy. Well, Eternicus has drifted away from this battle. 
I think this is only the, the, the realistically the closest battle that we have on the track. What Bob Wiley and Pred Gene? Yeah, so the battle for second could be coming into the fray sometime soon with Matty and Law. But then the battle for sixth is I mean, if, if these guys converge, I know Predje, he's got some latent pace. Um you know, in, in that Cleo. So he could potentially be making a late charge for top six there. And Atanicus. Oh, Atanicus! Yeah, just noticed there in the background. Just I was looking at the chat there too. Revan Rodney saying, still get a trophy though, right? Yes, of course. Yes, uh, we can get yeah, we get a trophy. Um, yeah. Mhm. Mm I mean, um, I don't. I don't even think Alex and Inman got trophies for winning <laughs> races this season. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the trophy exists, you know, metaphorically. So. Yeah. Well, I think is PK doing these. Uh, yeah, the certificates. I could give him a prize. Oh no, Hal Halex made his own certificate, right? I think actually. Oh yeah, Alex made his own certificate. Yeah, which actually did look cool, but the only problem was was he used Comic Sans, which was a a massive disappointment. Which I was I was I I, I really liked the picture, but then I was like the font. Nah, it's a five out of ten for me. You're not you're not a Comic Sans person. No, I'm not a Comic Sans person. No, that's just what, what too childish. You you Times New Roman. Kind of guy. No, I'd rather go on defont.com and just check to see any other Sans Serif web uh, fonts that would be a lot more better than Comic Sans. <laughs> anyway, while we're talking about fonts, um, why are these keeping Fredge behind him? Keeps keeping his on him honest. What Bob is actually selling some really nice pace. He did a 26.6 on that last lap, but took the chicane at a crawling speed. And why it doesn't look too confident there? No, he lost a heap of time because he didn't want to hit the wall, which is fair enough, but uh, that's allowed Wiley to catch almost a second just through that chicane alone. Um, looking for oh, our back Pred. is Thunder, who's, Thunder, who's on um, the back of Eternicus, and Thunder goes wide at Madrick. Oh, that's that's about 15 times he's done that now. And into the wall. Yeah, that's... That Excuse me, that's 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 from the pig's normal recent line through there. Yeah, he's he's been off at that corner like twenty nine times now. So I'm looking at, at the battle for second position now. And Law is he I mean, was within a tenth when I last checked, but now is the gap's gone slightly up, although Matty runs a bit wide, so that's gonna compromise. Oh no, it's coming down. Speed. It's coming and down slowly. Coming down. So now now it should be yeah, below a second. So, if Law can get this first corner right, carry a bit more speed than Matty, he could be starting to get a nice toe from that DHL Clio up ahead. So, yeah, Law getting a good exit, and now he's in the seventh. He's a, he's so, he's in the slipstream distance now, so he's going to get a good run here at Ford Water. Let's ride on board then with Law, winner of the first race. And I tell you what, from the moment that he had on lap two, this is a quite a great recovery drive. This from uh, from Law, and he's got Matty in his sights. But we know what Matty's like. We call him the gatekeeper for nothing. Let's see if he can use all his expertise to keep hold of that second place with less than three minutes to go. So roughly about two more laps of this track. is firmly tucked into the slip Matty but I'm not sure he's going to be quite close enough to make a move at the final corner we'll take a brave man but I know Law is one of those Ooh, he's on the gear oh. Matty <laughs> <laughs> into the chicane they go then for I think the third to last time Matty's just uh, starting yeah, to stretch his legs be, a little bit there'll be, be two laps after this one um, so, yeah, two two laps to go for Matty and for Law. I wonder if Alex is actually... Oh, someone's off at St. Mary's there. It's Thunderpig. Thunderpig's had another moment at St. Mary's. Uh, oh, and Predgy's down to 11th place. We didn't see what happened to Predgy. But, but he was battling with widely for 7th place. He's all the way down to uh, last now. It must, it, it must have been on this lap because his previous lap times were quite healthy. Yeah, it, it um, would have been, yeah. But if, if you look, he's on 122 on the timer now, so there's no way he's going to get there around 128. 
he must have lost a chunk of time on this lap. It's 25 seconds down on his personal best, so yeah, I wonder where he had a moment. Um, he must could have got, he could have even got reset. Like that's how much time you can. You, dude, that's that's the kind of time we're talking about. Like in Inman at the beginning, lost 20 seconds getting reset. Um, so now he's going to be battling with fellow American Thunderpig, and this will be their final lap. I'm just, I'm, I think Halix might actually finish a lap ahead of everybody else, just because of the way the timings have run out. Mm, it's going to be close, Poss probably not actually. But it, why? Why he's got I up was to six? Wondering if he could get next to that. Oh, Goofy's ahead of him though. Yeah, and we know what Goofy's been late there. Oh, it's a little contact. But Goofy, he's, you know, he, he slowed down a little bit and let him go by. I was just saying there too, that uh, Wiley is up to P6, so... Oh, Goofy's making a move on Halix. This go on, like Goofy! On Verstappen. Go on! Oh! Ah, he didn't have the speed off the corner, though, through Levant. But he'll get a good tool, though. I wonder if Halix will be appreciating this, because, uh... You know, I'm not sure blue flag. I think blue flag rules might apply, um, not like in the endurance event, but that that's okay. Oh, he's uh, going for it! He's, he's trying to unlap himself. He's oh, he's hit him! He's oh, hit him! He he's hit him! Oh, I tell you what, Halex will not be too tough for that, and you can see he's all over the back of him. Oh, he's not too happy! Oh no! Well, I mean, that's a way for Halix to win the race here, quite comfortably too, <laughs> but, you know, I think Halix will not be too happy with Goofy, and I think they will, the whole pack, uh, the whole lobby will be happy with Goofy. but anyway, oh, Halix won under wow. controversial circumstances. Matty will cross the line in second, so, yeah, he will hold on. Law must have made a mistake somewhere, because he's nearly two seconds adrift. But anyway, good show in there for Matty, second place for him. Law is, will, fit, will come across the line in P3, so a, a win in the first race, a third there, and, and I mean, that's still a good recovery no matter what. Fourth then goes to Inman, Chosen TV, what a drive that has been for Chosen. Start the race on pole, and he's going to get a top five finish, so, you know, Chosen, that will, that will give him good heart there for the next round next week at uh, Sakuba, I think that is. Yep, that is Sakuba, which will be uh, next Sunday, so here he comes, they're making his way towards the chicane. Oh, goodness, yeah, Chosen, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll that's, just, yeah. His, that's his best finish. Yeah, best in, ever finish. Yeah, Top five there, and look at that, Wop Bob actually went ahead of Wiley. So Wiley must have made a mistake on the last lap, so Wop Bob is back up into sixth. Wiley's going to finish in seventh. And there goes Eternicus, and he's going to be last across the line to finish in eighth position. So there goes Wiley, seventh, Eternicus, eighth. Good, I'm good, guessing good on them because um, they didn't get lapped, actually. No, they didn't. So, no. Etonicus, uh, Wiley and Etonicus still, with everything going on, they managed to finish on the lead lap. So uh, fair play to those guys. And, and uh, yeah, congrats uh, to Halix for the win. Well done to my teammate. Good job there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so uh, that was that was quite a very uh, aggressive race there, especially from Goofy. But uh, there's a look then of, of the unofficial results. Halix wins by 24 seconds in the end over Matting. Uh, Law finishes third. Inman fourth. Chosen TV. What a drive that is from Chosen. Started the race on pool, but still top five. Great effort from Chosen. Wop Bob gets sixth on the last lap. He passes it uh, of Wiley. Eterdicus eighth. Goofy ninth. Predge down in tenth. We don't know what happened to him because he was battling with uh, Wiley for seventh. Thunderpig in eleventh. And uh, Alex today unfortunately got kicked out of the uh, the lobby but he will get credited for 12th place chosen said in the chat that he spun out on the second last lap heart was in his mouth thought he'd goosed it well you didn't goose it yeah you know you, you kept your pressure you, you held your nerve to get a top five yeah well done man awesome drive awesome awesome drive this track is so tough it's so tough but it's God damn fun. It's so good that, you know, we should actually have this in the GR3. We always oh, we should do, like. <sighs> well, but there you go, well. Not on my watch. I, oh, I definitely would, on my watch. I it's going to be fun for the viewers. I would skip that round. 100%. <laughs> well, anyway, Inman has uh, ended the game. Uh, well, hosted, ended the, uh, the lobby. So that has been the Cleo Cup coffee break at Goodwood. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the coverage. Certainly, I did as well. But I mean, it was certainly aggressive from uh, a few drivers. Hopefully, we won't see any of that come next week at Sakuba. But anyways, I think you're going to be racing in that, aren't you? Yep. Yep. So Law's going to join me in the booth for that. Yep. And uh, so yeah, I've been Savvy. Uh, and I've been Rascal. And we'll see you next week at Sakuba.